Hi, and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today we're going to be looking at the new Force Flex Glove from MCR Safety. I want to give you a little background on today's product. It's the FF2930 by MCR Safety. But before we start, I want to mention that we should always be wearing the proper PPE for our jobs. Now, this glove really is considered PPE, but I also have my safety glasses right here as well, and you want to make sure that you're always wearing the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. Now, the FF2930 glove from MCR Safety features D3O technology on the back of the hand and also on the palm. You see, the D3O high shock absorbing properties outperform similar materials and is thinner, and it allows full flexibility and range of motion. And I'm talking about like really cool range of motion too. I mean, look at this. I mean, you really can't tell the difference. Okay, what do you say we get started? Now first, we're gonna take a look at what D3O can do. You see, D3O is a smart elastomer that provides superior energy absorption with thinner and more flexible material. A D3O offers an average of 50% reduction in transmitted force over other materials to provide superior impact performance. Now, what does all that mean? Well, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna compare foam with the D3O material. I've got a little steel ball right here, okay? See that? A little bounce action. Ooh, a little different. Let's take a look at that one more time. A lot of bounce. Hardly anything. You saw the bounce on the foam material. Now, the foam wasn't absorbing the energy. It was, it was transferring it and bouncing back up. The D3O reacted differently. The steel ball barely bounced. Real quick again. Bounce. Barely bouncing. It was absorbing the impact and dissipating it. In layman's terms, it was accepting the energy and then spreading it out. It was taking the punch for you. Now, the D3O material is added to the FF2930 on the palm of the glove and also on the back of the glove. Now, the material on the impact resistance area here on the hand, it's on the finger area, it's on the knuckle area, back of the hand, and the dorsal area of the glove. I mean, really, I mean, we could just sit here and we could just it, it, it really, you don't really feel anything because it just takes that energy and dissipates it, okay? It allows for impact and vibration reduction in the palm area. Now I'm gonna show you something really cool. I had the glove on there on this hand, but I'm just gonna take some of this material right here. This is the D3O material. Now, you can see as I pull it nice and slow, it's a liquid. But when I go faster, it becomes a solid. I'll do that real quick again, slow, fast. All right, so what I'll do is I will mold this on the back of my knuckles right here, all right. That's a real hammer. There you go. That just shows you right there how hard I was hitting it. Sorry, the gloves fell over there. Now the Force Flex glove features max grid fabric on the palm for dry, wet, and oily conditions. This is a very cool tool. And due to the impact resistance, flexibility, and grip, these gloves can be used in a variety of industries. I can't think of any place where you wouldn't use something like this. I mean, oil and gas, heavy construction, mining, demolition, heavy equipment operation, manufacturing, transportation, maintenance, and repair. That's just a few of the industries this glove will be ideal to be used in. Maybe not bowling, but everything else. Bowling, no, but everything else. Trust me, this is what you want. All right, that's gonna do it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Hey, if you have any questions whatsoever, call Motion Industries, they'll be able to help you out. And also, remember, PPE, we had it here just in case, this is actually PPE. That's priority number one, let's be safe. Let's wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. Priority number two, look for other videos on mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.